I think for me, having the characters on screen and then being able to translate their emotions to the audience is such an interesting thing as well because the audience doesn't necessarily always hear the score but it will influence the way that they're emotionally affected by the scene on screen. The great thing about this industry is also that you're really pushed to innovate yourself constantly. So whereas I might have been more inclined to write, say, more piano-driven music or more orchestral at one point as well, getting different briefs in all the time and getting different reference tracks and different expectations really allows you to further push yourself into different areas that you might not have explored before. I love doing collaborative projects and I'm working with violinists now, Anna Phoebe, to create a project where we're exploring how we can combine soundscapes and electronic processes with the actual acoustic recordings of string instruments and piano and create kind of cinematic soundscapes out of that. I quite often will start with opening up a project going through the different references they have and then map out a musical palette, so deciding what instruments I'm going to use for this piece and why. And then it's a case of just tempo mapping out the exact edit, so seeing where do you need the hits, where do you need it to be really drawn back, where do you really need to push for energy. The hardest part really is just writing the actual core of the piece. It's hours of sitting down and coming up with different ideas and see what works and see what doesn't. I'll usually mix quite a lot along the way just so you don't need to do too much mixing afterwards and also you can affect the sound quite a lot if you haven't mixed anything at all. And I like to kind of hear what I'm doing as I go along and make sure it develops in the right direction. I first heard my mixers through the Adams when I was in Bristol and I was looking to buy a good set of monitors because I knew that was the first thing I was really going to have to invest in. So I went into a shop with a hard drive full of my mixers and eventually wound up with the Adams. I heard things in tracks, you know, that I'd listened to hundreds and hundreds of times that I'd never heard before. And that to me is really what made the decision to get them. Sound is obviously the most important thing in my work and having good monitors helps a lot, but there's no point in buying really good monitors and putting them in a space that isn't suited to project your audio in the way that you want it. So getting a proper room treatment plan set up is really, really important. I think since moving to London, I've really learned the value of room treatment. And now that I have an actual, you know, soundproof studio with all these panels up on the wall, it has influenced the way I mix so much because I'm actually hearing a much more accurate sound coming out of my speakers than I was before. So usually there'll be a few rounds of feedback between the creatives and myself and once they're happy any amendments to the edit and it's sent off and that's it. So yeah my usual day in the studio is just doing this all day which is great. <laughs>